Welcome to the Lake Mead and Hoover Dam update for August 2023. As a result of this winter's record snowfall, Lake Mead's water levels continue to rise rapidly. Water levels at Lake Powell, on the other hand, are on the decline. Find out why in today's video. But before we get started, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm just bringing the channel back to life and I could really use the help. Thank you. The current water level at Lake Mead is 1,063 feet above mean sea level. That's an increase of 5 feet in the past month. Lake Mead's water level is currently 157 feet below full pool and 113 feet above minimum power pool. Last winter's record snowfall in the Colorado Rockies is providing much needed relief to the drought stricken Colorado River. When we take a look at Lake Mead's water levels for the 2023 water year, it's easy to see how much last winter's massive snowfall has impacted Lake Mead. The reservoir has gained almost 17 feet in elevation since the beginning of the water year. As a reminder, when discussing water management, we often use the term water year. The water year, at least for the Colorado River region, runs from October 1st through September 30th. So when I reference the 2023 water year, I'm talking about October 1st, 2022 through the end of September 2023. The reason the water year begins in October is to capture the snowfall and precipitation in the winter months that will eventually melt and make its way into groundwater or into one of our reservoirs such as Lake Mead or Lake Powell. When we look at the past few years, we see the trend has been for Lake Mead's water level to decline beginning in May. This is due to the low amount of precipitation we received in the last few winters. The 2023 winter, on the other hand, has been a huge windfall for Lake Mead. Lake Mead's water elevation is 95 feet below the 1,157-foot average for this date. The highest water level at Lake Mead was recorded on July 24, 1983 at 1,225 feet, and a new record low was set last year on July 28 when the water level dropped to 1,040 feet 7 inches. When we look at previous year's elevations for the same date, we see the Lake Mead Reservoir is 20 feet above the water level at the same time last year. When compared to 2021, the reservoir is currently 5 feet lower. The water level is 11 feet below the elevation at the same time in 2016 when the reservoir was also at historic lows. The current capacity of the Lake Mead Reservoir is 8,641,000 acre feet, which is 33% of full pool. The average capacity for this date is 18.7 million acre feet. A new record low for America's largest reservoir was set last July when the capacity dropped to 7,018,000 acre feet. Full capacity of Lake Mead is 28.2 million acre feet. Last winter's heavy snowfall has definitely helped Lake Mead. In fact, it's helped the entire Colorado River system. So why are water levels at Lake Powell suddenly declining? Let's take a look. Lake Powell has dropped by almost 7 feet since July 8th, but there is a good reason for this. The Bureau of Reclamation, who operates both Hoover and Glen Canyon dams, is currently operating under a set of guidelines called the Colorado River Interim Guidelines. These guidelines state that the Bureau should equalize the contents of Lake Powell and Lake Mead by the end of each water year. So as we approach the September 30th end of the 2023 water year, the Bureau is required to release the excess water from Lake Powell to equalize levels between Lake Powell and Lake Mead. So why am I telling you all this? Well, the current set of rules that govern how the Colorado River is managed, the 2007 interim guidelines, for example, as well as the 2019 drought contingency plans, as well as several other international treaties and documents, they're all set to expire at the end of 2026. Renegotiating a replacement set of laws is currently underway and has been a huge drama. Each state is attempting to vie for their own water interests. So it should be very interesting to see this play out over the next two years. Of course, I will be here with a video every week to keep you up to date. Now let's get back to Lake Powell and why its water level is declining. This chart here shows releases from Glen Canyon Dam so far this year. As we can see, releases from Lake Powell significantly increased in May and have remained so throughout the summer. Forecasts from the Bureau of Reclamation indicate they will continue these increased releases to Lake Mead until the end of September. This means the water level in Lake Mead should continue to rise for at least another few weeks. As always, thank you for watching. I'll be back with another video next week. In the meantime, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing to my channel. I really value your support. Thank you.